All right, guys, this is Greg's photo tips number one. Today I'm going to show you a solution for the Nikon D5300. I bought this camera because uh, the ads and some reviews stated that it does have full video capabilities. I can set uh, the shutter speed, the aperture and everything I need for full manual video. But it's a bit more complicated. And I've seen some kind of a solutions, but they didn't work for me. So after a couple of days of, of uh, experimenting, I found a solution. I'm going to share it with you guys. Okay. So, pressing menu button, finding shooting menu, and movie settings. Okay. Then press enter come into movie settings now you have manual movie settings if manual movie settings is switched on it means that you can change the shutter speed you can change the ISO I set the ISO setting to this function button but you cannot change the aperture okay if you go to movie settings Manual movie settings, you switch it off. It means that you can change shutter speed, you can change aperture, and you can change ISO. Right? Wrong. It doesn't work that way. Uh, in that mode, uh, the camera behaves very strange. You cannot change the ISO. I mean, you can change the numbers here, but the real ISO value doesn't change. Somehow Nikon set it to a, to a, fix, to, to a very high fixed setting, which makes uh, the picture unusably noisy. And uh, you can change the number here for for the aperture, but the aperture doesn't change. Even if you switch uh, the live view on and off, it, it just doesn't work. Nothing changes. I don't know what this mode is for because it, it's just useless. So I switched movie settings, manual movie settings back to on. which means you can set shutter speed, you can set uh, the ISO value and the live view changes accordingly. So you can see everything what you set. And now here comes the trick. We've been in manual mode. Okay. Now we switch it to a aperture mode. And now at aperture mode, we can set the aperture with the rotary dial here. So let's say we set it to f8 and now we go back to manual mode, press the live view button to kind of a reset the live view and voila, now we have f8. We can change again here uh, shutter speed ISO. Fortunately we have this bar that shows that we are heavily underexposed. Live view shows uh, the actual value and we have an f8 aperture. Okay, so once again, shooting menu, movie settings set to menu movie settings on. And if we want to set the aperture, just go to aperture menu, set the aperture, and go back to manual and reset. Now we're done. Okay. It's just too bad that all Canon cameras with this within this price range can do that uh, with a touch screen and just pressing the appropriate value. Now Canons are way ahead, so Nikon please get a grip and hurry up. I hope you guys find this useful. See you next time. Bye.